Hey, welcome to Brutally Dosers. I'm Bruce Moore. Today we've got a great show in store for you. Why don't you guys introduce yourselves? The Jolly Brats. I'm Kelly. I'm Lewis. I'm Justin. And today we're going to be making three ingredient coconut macaroons. I don't think we can screw that up. No, I don't think anybody can screw that up. It's pretty, pretty <laughs> cool to see. We can try. <laughs> we can find out. We always could burn them or something. But just for those following at home, we've got three cups of shredded coconut, a couple eggs, and about a half a cup of sugar. Go ahead and join us, and we'll see where we end up. So, Daylight Explosion, it's your ninth record, I believe, if I, if I remember right. Yeah, so ninth it's our, studio record. our seventh studio record, but then we have a live album we did, we yeah. have an acoustic album we did, a bunch of splits and seven inches and EPs and all sorts of so We've been stuff. around forever. So it's, yeah. Which, which is going to get to my point here. So now that you've been around forever and yeah. you're on six or nine, whatever they are, yeah. do you find it difficult to not write the same record? To write something completely or not completely different, but in the Dolly Rod vein, but different from the last one? Yeah, I think um, it just kind of, <laughs> yes and no. I mean, yeah, you come back to like your patterns or whatever, but I feel like life changes so fast that yeah. it's not, you can't really replicate what was it like what happened in the past you know you just kind of yeah. like write what's in the moment and then don't try to edit it too much it's just whatever yeah. and just capture that especially moment. at this stage in life like our, our last three records were written at like very different times like with barefoot and pregnant I was pregnant with our first kid with Blash Flash we had moved from Los Angeles to Tampa to be by family and I was pregnant with our second kid and then this one you know, we were, we thought we were prepared, and we booked studio time, and like we we're, we we're kind of getting on a roll writing. And my dad passed away, and so we had like three weeks to write the record, and like that was totally crazy. And I mean, somehow it happens each time, but it, you know, you're thinking all different thoughts at different stages in life, and so I think once you pass like your mid twenties, I think probably it, it changes rapidly. But then again, like it's good to have continuity too, so you yeah. don't want to confuse the people that are like a fan of your right. band. Right. Have to put on a record and know what the Dolly Rod sounds yeah, like. Yeah, like yeah. It's not like we're gonna like all of a sudden change our sound like right. drastically. It's fun to do like a thing that's a little harder or a thing that's a little weird or whatever. Yeah. But like it's gonna sound like us. The bulk of it's gonna be yeah. us. It's like we produce it basically. Right. So. Yeah. So when you're writing, and I, I know you guys are together, but when you're writing, are you writing like your traditional? Are you sitting in the living room bouncing stuff off each other, or is it more? putting it together on a computer and emailing riffs and stuff back and forth. Um, so typically we'll put the kids to bed, we'll go out to the backyard studio, and like some songs are based on like a, a beat like that we just like, you know, create or even just a tempo. Most of the time it's a guitar riff. Um, then we put a, a vocal melody over it and then we fill in the blanks with yeah, We'll just like later. record demos, you know, yeah. and like do them as we go. So like we're just set up like we've got all our channels set up in our yeah all the instruments are plugged in everything's always plugged in like we have enough to just like all right let's throw down this like guitar thing let's throw down this bass thing go sing that vocal like whatever and most of the time we end up keeping the demo guitars really you know, or the demo yeah. bass like eighty percent of this record was the demos that's yeah. pretty cool and it just turned into like the album are you finding yeah. since you have kids and you're writing from home that it's like three in the morning i've got a break or the little yeah. break or break yeah. time i can slip yeah. out there and do whatever i gotta do yeah. we it's pretty much write between like 10 30 p.m and 3 or 4 a.m well that's also and then we wake up at 7 a.m oh yeah the, the baby monitor right. you know that exactly. whole record has yeah. the baby monitor <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The whole you thing. can hear it like, faintly in the background yeah. right <laughs> but but yeah and and like that's also like the rocking hour, so oh, yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? And and like nobody's bugging you at that time of day. You're not getting like emails. No emails and phone calls. Worry about like business or family or anything. You're just you can be hyper focused. Yeah. So I work a regular job during the day, come home, do the family thing, I've got kids to do the whole thing, and I find the same thing. Everybody goes to sleep around ten and yeah. that's when I'm editing and writing Creative. and then yeah. trying to find you know, yeah. emails. That's my spot. Not till three in the morning because I got to get up early. But yeah. no, until around one, I'll still wake us up early. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have a two-year-old and a five-year-old. Right. So we're just we're running on fumes right. yeah. and coffee. <laughs> so you mentioned it earlier. Twenty years in, did you ever imagine you'd still be? Uh, no. No. <laughs> no, no, it's kind of crazy, right? Yeah, yeah. it just kind of like you just you start on a path and then you keep following that path and you end up further and further away from what that, whatever. Like we went to college, you know, like. Yeah. We, we, we figured we would be doing like, you, you'd be like a biologist or something, yeah. I, you know, I'd, right. I'd probably be doing something like medical related, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, but like, 
once you get on a path and you just go full force on it and it's working yeah it's and hard it, it to works. right you know so and it's what that's what well, we want to do so why would we change might it might as well do know? it you know it's like let's just keep going and there there are people that, that want it so yeah. you know um, I, and, I, and obviously that's true because a lot of it is uh crowdfunding right oh yeah, yeah. Crowdsource, yeah. Whatever yeah. Call it. like ever since um our last so we were on labels we were on lookout which was like our dream label growing up it's mm -hmm. like a punk rock label and then we were we were on Joan Jett's label for two records, mm -hmm. and then basically we were like, you know what? We've got we toured the country, did the van got tours. Good fan base. We have enough of a fan base. Let's just crowdsource it, and that started in like 2012. Mm -hmm. And so we've been like, years later. That's great. Yeah, yeah, we're like you know four, three, four projects in, and our fans just funded. And that puts all the ownership and production on you guys then, right? Yeah. yeah. Is there yeah. a lot of pressure to do doing that, or well, now yeah. I just used to it? But yeah, because you like you launch a project, you launch an album before it's written, like before like it's even a thing, like, and you basically like tell your fans like, hey, we're gonna do this. Do you want to see it watch. happen? Do you want, you know? <laughs> and then you hope that it's good. But like the whole time you're thinking to yourself like, if this isn't good, you're gonna let down all, all those, those money, people. You know? Like. And, and you can't, can't do that. Yeah, you can't do that. Like we're just we have a responsibility to deliver yeah. an awesome record. Right. You know? and then this last time we were doing our regular crowdfund thing, and um, the platform that we use, Pledge Music, actually like tanked. Right. When we right. Were in the I studio. saw that. Yeah. Uh, that was terrifying, and so we we're like, oh my gosh, what are we gonna do? And so we just set up a pre-sale at our own store, and most of the fans migrated over. It was great success. At the same time, we sent demos to great. Wicked Cool Records. And you know they had supported other stuff of ours in the past. Um, we put out Seven Inch with them last spring, mm -hmm. and it's run by uh, Little Steven from the E Street Band. Oh wow! Okay. And he also has a, a station called Underground Garage on satellite radio, and they're also a huge supporters. Yeah. And I mean, we they're just like, dudes, just like, let us put this record out, and we're like, yes. Like yes. It, everything was kind of swirling and confused at that time anyway, and them just being like, "Let us help," you know. Right, yeah. We were like, so it was cool. Awesome. They took care of like so many things that you yeah. know. We, I mean, we can still do on our own if we need to. Right. But it's nice to have the support of a label, and it's nice to have. I mean, it's not like it's not like Stephen isn't involved either. Like he's not like yeah. a figurehead. Like. He was like texting us while we were in the oh, studio. Really? Like, yeah. Try like, this. What about that? Like whatever. He was yeah, cool. He had mixed That takes notes. a little bit of the pressure yeah. off you, though, right? And especially yeah. someone as seasoned as he is. Yeah. Oh yeah. well, like I mean, maybe not the same type of music, but definitely. He was when, rocking the whole Yeah. He was throwing out like some of the things he was throwing out. I was like, I don't know. That's kind of a crazy idea. And then you try it, and it works. And it's like, oh, that's because he's a genius. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what I mean? For so long. Yeah. So so it's nice to have that sort of like guidance there. Right. You know. I mean, we're we're open to that. Especially if it's somebody that you know we look up and to. And if it's so. going to make it better in the long run. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we've already reached more people with this record than we would have by ourselves. And that's the goal. Like, oh, yeah. Our music, we just want more people to hear our music. Okay, cool. So how I know you guys are on the road somewhere in the middle. How's the tour going so far? It's been awesome. It's been awesome. Right? awesome. It's been awesome. Yeah. Amazing. I mean, at this point, we're like a little beat up. Yeah. <laughs> but, that's, but that's normal. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, like, I think, like... Dude, like the, the turnout's been great. The, you yeah. know, just really the good. buzz around the record has been great. You know, it's fun to tour on a new release. Yeah, yeah it really because, is. Because, you know, people just want to hear the new stuff. And so, you know, we play, like, a bunch of the new songs in the set. And people are singing them back. That's I'm great. like, wow, yeah, you know the That's words. Fun. That's like, you don't say right? Yeah, yeah. it's like us. It's like, it's like going from, like, some, like, just random idea on an iPhone and an acoustic right. guitar and then for it to just, you know, Justin's back there, like, slamming the drums, and we're just, like, loud, and you can feel it, and everything's oh, yeah. super driving and powerful. It's just, like, it's an awesome feeling, man. Yeah. So 20 years in, are you finding that some of your fans are actually bringing the second generation, like, their kids to your shows? Yeah, yeah like, that last was night, cool too, yeah, right? yeah, last night there were so time. many. And there was, like, yeah, yeah it, it's nuts. And, they, you know, some people started having kids earlier, some people later. You see little kids with gun muffs. You yeah. see, like, what... You used to be little kids coming to shows, yeah, like teenagers, teenagers now. now. Yeah, that's <laughs> they're just a little more like cool and morose or whatever. Yeah. But like, it's it's rad, man. I think yeah. because of the music that we play, like we we have a lot of like fathers who are into punk rock, mm -hmm. bringing their kids. Punk rock and, dads, like, you know, right? yeah, it's like yeah. major like punk rock dad, and then like the the daughter, like the really young daughter, is like, I need her to see this. I need her to hear this, um, and. It's so cool. Yeah, it's so cool, cool for us. Yeah. yeah. So and our shows are like, I mean, they're fun and they're 
they can be aggressive and they can be powerful, but like we're not sitting up there like cursing right. or whatever. I mean, yeah. we can if we want to, but like it's like we make it so like everybody can be there and, and not fun. feel like right. bad about being there. Yeah, yeah. so that's great. Yeah, so that whole second generation thing is pretty cool. Yeah, yeah and I've great. talked to other bands that are in the same boat. They've been in that long, and that's yeah. a pretty cool yeah. thing. Because you know they're they're going to be lifelong fans. Yeah, like yeah. those kids are just like. Like they just grew up with it, right? So it's it's, it's cool. Kelly Kelly can bake. You know, she baked hundreds of cookies for our album project. Really? Like hundreds. one of the things people could get was like a. You box. helped. I helped a little. You did make sure they weren't burned. You did a, the best job of any. I was the helper I had. Yeah. The taste tester. Yeah. She yeah. doesn't eat cookies. I don't eat cookies. No. That's I why I'm the sorry. perfect sous chef. I, I don't cookies. like. Oh, yeah. I, I don't pillage the cookies. <laughs> oh wait up. Oh. Gonna hit bake again. Bake. Yeah. Get baked, man. Must use fresh farm eggs from the backyard. <laughs> That's what you do. How cool is that? <laughs> Those came out of right. like a chicken's butt <laughs> not too long ago. About <laughs> three hours ago. Should we watch them? <laughs> chicken butt macaroons. They're really hard shells. Yeah. It's because right, they're so healthy. We want only the whites here. The flimsier the shell, the, the, the worse the egg. Should we, should we all get on? So Bring just the whites. I mean, we could try. I mean, all right. I'll give you a shot. Come on. Oh, that gets them in there. It's not going to get in there. Ah, I screwed up. <laughs> just the whites. <laughs> well, we got to start over now. <laughs> Can you do just the whites? Yeah, sorry. Just the white. Just the whites. <laughs> uh, just the whites. Is that the whites? Yes. No, dude, what are you doing? <laughs> yes. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, Can I do it? No, 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 no. no. Here, oh, my it. gosh. Okay. No, dude. <laughs> it's not how you do it. <laughs> I, think, I think we're fine. <laughs> Oh my Let goodness. Kelly do this. Yeah, I think, I this think is we hilarious. Did, I think you figured out Kelly. Oh hey, goodness. nice. Look at that, Kelly. Super <laughs> simple recipe. Oh, I see. What did he do? Fine. I did say it's unable to screw oh, up. Oh, Kelly's even worse. <laughs> Kelly's even worse. At least I broke the shell like cleanly. You like. <laughs> <laughs> that is the worst. It was a much That's softer also shell. bad. You guys, we need to. <laughs> Disaster. Any idiot can make this recipe. <laughs> We're not just any idiot. Are there any more eggs? <laughs> Special idiots. We don't have enough white. I think it's gonna be fine. That right there is just. Oh my god, guys. I think enough. <laughs> Alright, we gotta step up our game at this point. Not step one. <laughs> step one. Destroy some eggs. <laughs> Completed. That was literally the worst I've ever seen you do an egg. Like it was all like smashed, <laughs> not at all like geometric. <laughs> well, now we beat the you know what out of this. Let's do like it's side so to side. Like that? Yeah. All right. Not you. Oh gosh. Try it. <laughs> Put some arm in the back, dude. <laughs> it's all in the wrist, man. It's like palm beauty. No, it's getting frothy. It's totally getting frothy. Look, that's what it says. It says to do it till it's frothy. What are you... Here, your turn. It's almost done. Okay, you're better. Yeah, you're way better at this. Oh. Wow, you're really beating the crap out of it. Hey. I have to, right? Thank God we're not making meringue. All of this sugar. Uh huh. Half a cup. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh -huh. Add the sugar. Add the, and then what? Wait, a half a cup? That looked like more than a half a cup. <laughs> <laughs> Just roll with it. <laughs> all right. Add, so then add. Add the coconut. Add coconut. All the coconut. Mix with a spoon. Though. Wow. There... Did it, guys. Good job. All right. Okay. Congratulations. Right. Keep all going. Right, okay. What am I doing? This... Stir. Just stir it, okay. man. Stir. I can already tell that these are going to be delicious. <laughs> Perfect. We'll With bring a them to the hint of shell and egg yolk. Just a hint a of hint. shell and yolk. Let's bring them to the show tonight and do a bake sale at our merch table. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I'll pass Support it off. Local we'll music. continue the stir. Sure, Matt. 
Keep it in the bowl, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a hard stir, huh? Mm-hmm. Here, win. You do it. <laughs> you see these guns? The next step is your ice cream scoop. Okay. Believe it or not. This is a job for Lewis. Truly. What? No, no, now you got the pressure. Putting it on the the sheets. Okay. They'll all be perfectly uniform do they need to and be beautiful. Like, do they need to be separated in a certain way? Little dollop. You know what a macaroon looks like, right? I guess. But it's going to change when it cooks. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> it's fine, guys. Look. Uh, uh, just a little just a little do -si do That's good. Just a little back and forth. Uh, just stop while your head. Yep. Wait, that needs to go. <laughs> See that blob? <laughs> I think you washed your hands. I did wash my hands. Good. <laughs> there you go. Let's put that with the rest of the ruined eggs. We're fixing it right now. I'm going to wash my hands. <laughs> Quick re redemption. Hey, that's the oven. Look at this. Oh, look tiny. at this timing here. These are going to be awesome. This is better. Yeah, we need one more. Excellent. Eggs. Eggs. Excellent. Eggs. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> all the dad jokes. Kelly's <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah, he's> like <laughs> the master of the dad joke. <laughs> it's got to be uniform, you see? Yeah. See? see? I knew it was a job for Lewis. Uniformity. I hate lack of uniformity. <laughs> it's important. Good music, life, <laughs> and the cosmos. <laughs> no, that's, that one's too big. That's a good whatever. Answer. That's the mama. <laughs> it's for mama. <laughs> yeah. It's for mama. There's not going to be 24. <laughs> There's going to be maybe 15. We're gonna eat these as dessert nice. with our Taco Bell later. <laughs> tour food. Tour food. That's what you get. That is one thing on tour that really sucks is lack of proper nutrition. Yeah, that's why we're here. Yes. To get proper nutrition. <laughs> yep. Of oh, egg sugar. white, coconut fiber, sugar. Yep. Black coffee. It's just a mess. Okay. Baking can get tricky if you don't like measure exactly right. Yeah. But nothing I've ever tried to make is like that. <laughs> Kelly's good at that though. Good scooping. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just plowing through these, man. Just plowing through. A little scoop here, a little scoop there, a little rounding out. Do we have another baking sheet? Yeah, right here. All right, cool. Would you like me to help you? Sure. Okay. You whatever you want. The one on each uh, rack? Yeah, let's see. It's not going to fit otherwise. Nah. There's one. And number two. two. All right. Okay. we got to set that timer. Can you figure that yeah. out? I think so. 15 to 20 minutes. There you go. And then up. Oh, I think so. Ah! No. That's raising the temperature. <laughs> Wait, timer on. Hit timer again? Hit timer again? Yeah. Why do you think tennis balls are fuzzy? Um, because... They mm. don't shave enough. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> is, that, is it like a? Yeah. Is this, is there an answer to it, or is it like one of those like I'm if a tree sure. falls in the woods? <laughs> does it, no, like, it is a good question because it's, they're fuzzy whether it's a clay court or a grass court. Yeah. It's not like a different ball. I wonder. I should know this, but I don't. Maybe it's yeah, dynamic. Like, maybe. maybe. I was on the tennis. Team. Are you a tennis player? I used to play tennis. Really? Yeah, in high school. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe they're like derived from something else. You know, as they say like soccer was derived because like two like opposing armies like attacked each other and then they ended up kicking some guy's head around and that's how the soccer started. I thought it was a but, Mayan thing. I don't know. But tennis? maybe like tennis soccer. was just like oh. some woodland creature. <laughs> <laughs> like a woodchuck. They started like, hitting. And then so they're I like, ah, not. this woodchuck's all beat up. We need a ball. <laughs> hitting a woodchuck. Feels like a woodchuck. So I don't a need woodchuck to interrupt you, is like this Damn, this big. is starting to smell pretty good. It's it's smells so good. I'm like, wow. Yeah, it smells good. Oh, they're looking We need like some smell o vision or something going on. It smells really good. Yeah, now that that smell's covering ours. <laughs> yeah, our tour smell. <laughs> Double minute tour smell. If you could be a superhero, who would it be and why? Mm. Mighty Mouse? 
because he has the best theme song. <laughs> he does. He does have the best theme song. Yeah. I've never heard that. I've asked that a lot. Ooh, yeah. I like that. He does. Here I come because I'm the best. So before the big movie, I used to say Aquaman. He was always my favorite kind of guy. Okay. I haven't seen yeah. that yet. It's actually really good. Yeah. 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 Okay. And he's sort of my doppelganger, as you can tell. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I went to the theater, I had to sign autographs in the new But no, before that even came out, I was always an Aquaman fan. He could talk to yeah. swim, talk to the seahorses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I think so. I think I'm a super, superman, super girl. I don't know the super girls. So I was like the Wonder Twins too. You're, you're, you're old enough to remember like the Hall of Justice with those. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah the, the Wonder Twins. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But they connected yeah. the rings, they'd be anything they wanted. Yeah. Maybe that is us. <laughs> the Wonder Twins. Do you remember that? Slightly. That was before, bit. you know, all these movies and stuff. Way back. Yeah. Like Saturday morning cartoons, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah the Last awesome. Olympics. Like, yeah, that kind of stuff. USA Network. <laughs> yes. Way oh, back. Yes. Love that. We're still good? Not too Yeah, yeah now we're good. How many pennies do you think would fit into this room? Panties? Pennies. Oh, pennies. Oh, you can go pennies, pennies too if you want. Either one, you can call it. You know, they probably take a similar amount of uh, 20,000 in the room. I think so. One million. I was going to say a million. <laughs> Maybe. One million. No, you're probably have, right. Because what is a thousand pennies? Right. Actually, a thousand pennies is probably like that. So, yeah. It'd be like... I feel like yeah. I've seen a thing on Reddit where people do copper... Like, they do penny floors. Mm -hmm. Like, they get the pennies they and they really use them like tile. Actually. And then they, like, put a clear urethane over I mean, I imagine over. they're indestructible. They're, it's right, it's beautiful. Like a copper floor. Yeah. But I'm trying to think how many were in like a square foot of that. It, well, you it, figure, what's a penny? Is a penny like an inch? Less than an inch. Less than it's probably like, less than an inch, it's right? It's like a half an inch. And so like a square would be like 12 inches. At least like it's like 100. 300, 200, let's say 200 per It's very foot. different from a <laughs> <laughs> Right, now well, we're doing the math. Like, you math. Now we're doing the math. 200 per square foot. And then you figure this room is like 20 foot by and if you happen to be our friends outside of the U.S., I don't know what the conversion rates are because I don't understand the metric system at all. 600 times 200. Yeah, it's like 200 pennies. 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 Yeah, it's like 200 Wow. That yeah. sounds That's sounds okay. good. Okay. And uh, they would be so heavy the floor would collapse. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say yeah. Right. It would just <laughs> collapse into the earth. Right into the uh the house space. <laughs> right. <laughs> How would you describe the color yellow to someone who's colorblind? Loud. Warm. Anxiety. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> it's time for anxiety. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the one I get up uh, when I use that question. That's the one I get most often. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you guys have next after? I uh, know after this run, what do you guys have going on? We're home for a while because our kids start in kindergarten. Monday. Uh, but we're gonna. We're gonna <laughs> oh wow. We're gonna do a couple yeah. festivals and um, yeah, we'll just plan on starting up again like after after the beginning of next. For the year. last couple years, we've done the same tour schedule where in March we do a spring like a spring tour that goes Midwest to Texas to California. And then in the summer we usually do California, like out west dates, and then in the summer we do this East Coast thing. So we yeah. do the same thing every year. I'd like to get overseas too. Yeah, we need to get to the UK. I heard you say you yeah. were over in uh, over UK, UK once before. Yeah. Been in the UK a few times. Have you been through yeah. Europe or just UK? Just UK. Well, we did, an we did a taste of Europe. We last did an acoustic year. tour in Europe with our buddy Jared uh, from Bowling for Soup. Yeah. Um, so that, but that was just acoustic. So. Right. Um, so yeah, we're gonna just try to do all that. I may we make have, another yeah. record with Jared if it's up there. Maybe make another, <laughs> she's in a side project with Jared too, called Jared and Kelly, so mm -hmm. she oh, might cool. make another thing. With, and then Justin's getting married when yeah. we get back, so. Really? Married. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Steph's yeah. Awesome. So all that is happening. All that's yeah. happening currently. Yeah. Life. Right now. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. 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 Days away from being home. Tuxes and <laughs> all, this, all the finishings. Yeah. And if anybody watching wants to get a hold of you guys, I mean, Facebook, obviously, what kind of... Yeah, sure. the Dolly Rots. Pretty much anywhere. Yep. Dot com, is... at Facebook, at Instagram, if you, Twitter. If you search, you can find, like, our email addresses really easily, Oh, yeah. Too. It's <laughs> Not that names. we're encouraging that. Yeah. yeah, no, it's fine. Like, we, we do all our own, like, social whatever. And so, yeah, yeah if you send us a message on... Twitter, well, it's one it's of us writing back. Okay. You know? Yeah. 
And if you come to the show, we always hang out afterwards until the venue kicks us out. So yeah. come say hi, Usually we'll sign the venue things, kicks take us all pictures. out at the same time. Yeah, like we have to leave with Ask the crowd. for some cookies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Cookies help. Right. Those are pretty good. Right. I think the good. bottom's done and the top's not. The bottom. So pull the bottom out yeah. and show. All right. Cool. Beauties. Actually, those. Those look awesome. Yeah. Ooh -wee. Oh, they're very nice, guys. I think we really did it. Even with all the even, egg cracking. <laughs> even with the yolk and shells in them. I oh, called, these don't fit in the I stomach. I a little tiny one. I thought you might. Mm -hmm. Ooh, scoop scoops. They are quite sticky. It's like they're made of sugar or something. Okay. You just put that one straight on. <laughs> it's pretty hot. Though. <laughs> what do we got here? Oh damn! Amazing. Those are really good. good. Really good. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Oh, nice good. job. Man. They're, <laughs> they're really good. Real Three good. ingredients. They're awesome. Three ingredients in 20 minutes. Thanks for joining us here today. Brutally delicious. Thanks Thank for the dollar See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>